It was a dream of mine to see a black sand beach. And when I saw it, it mesmerized me to such an extent that I just couldn't get enough of it. I was drawn to it. For a good couple of days, I would wake up and go there again and again, just to see it one more time. To feel the texture of that sparkly black sand that looked like tiny little diamonds. By this time, it's been more than a month since I arrived to Costa Rica and I can say that this country helped me get back to myself. What I mean by that is, I accomplished my goal of reconnecting to my inner child, get less serious, I guess, enjoy simple things more, focus on my health and well-being, and at this point I was filled with so much gratitude that smile just wouldn't leave my face. Here you realize that we don't need much to be happy. When we establish that body-mind connection, everything else falls into place. Our body is capable of self-healing and sometimes, to be able to experience that, we just have to clear our minds of everything we've been taught and see what happens. While in Puerto Viejo, I would structure my day in the most laid-back way I possibly could. I really wanted to slow down and own my morning. I didn't want to rush anywhere. First the beach time and experiencing gratitude, then the breakfast. This bakery was located right next to my accommodation, so whenever I didn't feel like walking somewhere far, I would go there. They had a decent Costa Rican breakfast, which I loved. This time I got hot chocolate, some gallo pinto, cheese, plantains, yuca chips and huevos rancheros, which is fried eggs with the tomato sauce on top. They also had very good coffee and plenty of pastry options. After the breakfast I popped into a couple of local shops with jewelry, as I really love to explore different styles and designs. I've fallen in love with that amethyst string. Quantas? Mil colones. Muchas gracias. I just bought some mangoes. And then you can get a pineapple cut right here for 1000 colones as well. And some other fruits. By the way, after a few days I moved to a different room. This one had more of a natural light coming in, which I loved. Uh, let me show you around then. Simple, clean, really minimalistic. A garden view, fresh tropical flowers. I mean, when you find yourself in such a beautiful location, what else do you need? I mostly spent my days exploring and this room was more than enough for me. I loved the simplicity of it. I really enjoyed this shower, by the way. Isn't it cool? And talking about exploring, let's go back to town and from there we can access the local beach where at any time of the day and most likely night you will see people chilling, taking this life easy and enjoying their time on earth. There is also a camping site right by the beach. I have to say, I felt quite safe in Puerto Viejo. I really loved the people there. As I said in the previous video, it felt like home. For anyone visiting Costa Rica, you simply can't miss this place. This morning I was like, I have a long day ahead of me and I have to eat well. I bumped into this lovely coffee shop right in the heart of Puerto Viejo. 
I went for a vegan option of Gaia Pinto, almond milk, coffee and an acai bowl. I'm that person for whom the presentation is so important. Whenever the food looks beautiful, I find that my senses can satisfy more rapidly. It's like I eat food with my eyes. Can anyone relate? I loved how they had a little watermelon and pineapple growing right at their doorstep. Pura vida at its finest, right? I mean, why not? This was a weekend and Puerto Viejo is bustling on the weekend, guys. Limon is a center of the country's Afro-Costa Rican community, which fills the region with the food, music and culture of locals whose heritage originated from Jamaica. This rhythm of life spills over into Puerto Viejo and the rest of the region. It is the Caribbean influence and culture that makes Puerto Viejo a uniquely special place and immediately after you arrive, you discover that you never want to leave. Reggae music and a tropical breeze danced in the air as I was mentally getting ready for a long day ahead. This is to show you how the road that connects Puerto Viejo and Manzanillo looks like. In some parts, closer to Manzanillo, it goes uphill and then downhill, but it is still doable. The good thing is that the road wasn't crowded, and mind you, it was a weekend. So it's quite a pleasant way to spend your day biking basically in the middle of the jungle. It put me in a meditative state right there. Here I arrived to Cockles Beach, and this is how you secure your bike. <laughs> I chained it to a part of a metallic structure of some sorts. This day I was beach hopping to get an understanding of what place I liked the most and Cockles was one of them. In particular I like this small island in front of the beach. That looks cool, right? And here we are, finally made it to the Jaguar Rescue Center, which is an animal rescue center located near Puerto Viejo. It is dedicated to the rehabilitation of mistreated, injured, ill, orphaned and confiscated animals. This center provides veterinary services, care and comfort to animals that would otherwise be unable to survive in the rainforest or the waters of the Caribbean. It was founded by the Italian biologist and his wife, who runs it with help of volunteers from all over the world and hosts numerous mammals, birds, 
reptiles and amphibians. Most animals brought here have been electrocuted by power lines, attacked by cats or dogs, or hit by cars. Once the animals are fully rehabilitated, they are reintroduced into their natural habitats in protected areas within Costa Rica. The center offers excellent educational tours every morning. There are two time slots where they tell you everything about the animals, their progress and the mistakes they made and learned from along the way. They had to grow and develop, but nowadays they are one of the best animal centers in the world. In the afternoon, after the tours, most animals can go out and roam around. For 20 US dollars, you are given a tour of the facilities and get to meet all of the animals currently residing there. Our guide was a biologist and our tour lasted nearly two hours. The revenue of your entrance ticket will provide for food for the animals and general costs for the park. Everything else is done by great volunteers from all over the world. The Jaguar Rescue Center does not receive any government funding to operate, instead relying on community support, donations and entrance fees for both group and private tours. If any of you guys desire to donate any amount to the center, I recommend to go on their official website in order to do so. I will also link it in the description. From there I was determined to make it to Ara Manzanillo, but on my way I made a stop at Punta Uva, which has to be the best beach of all the beaches around. It was a bit overcast, so unfortunately I couldn't see the crystal blue water. Punta Uva is about 8 kilometers away from town in the same direction as Manzanillo. There you can also rent a kayak at the beach and paddle down the river, which goes into the jungle where you will be all alone on the water spotting animals from your kayak. I finally made it to Ara Manzanillo, a breeding project for the green Macau, which is typical for the Caribbean side of Costa Rica. On the other hand, the scarlet Macau is typical for the Pacific side of the country. Unfortunately, the green Macaus are very hard to find in the wild, and it's Ara Manzanillo's goal to change this through their breeding program. Just like Jaguar Rescue Center, this program depends entirely on volunteers. To facilitate this process, Araman Senillo has developed an environmental education program with workshops, visits and other activities. Great green macaws are classified as a critically endangered species with populations decreasing. Experts estimate the worldwide population to be between 500 to 1,000 individual adult great green macaws living in the wild and less than 200 of them in Costa Rica. To reduce the risk of disappearance, all efforts to conserve and reintroduce the species are of great importance. The Manzanillo reintroduction station is located in a primary tropical rainforest at almost 100 meters above sea level. The visitors are directed to the top of a hill for a once-in-a-lifetime experience to view endangered green macaws in free flight that they have reintroduced into the wild. This tour is a truly inspiring natural experience and a unique photographic opportunity. Manzanillo is a tiny fishing village inside the Gandoka Manzanillo National Refuge. 
It is the last town of the Limon province where the road literally doesn't go further. From here it transforms into a national reserve followed by the border with Panama. I came to Manzanillo to see the famous shipwreck on Playa Grande. The sky looked like the heavy rain was coming, so I left almost immediately. On the way home, I stopped by this vegan Jamaican restaurant, which I was so excited to visit. It is run by the nicest and kindest person ever. And please don't judge the place by its appearance, because the food there is outstanding. Literally everything I tried was fantastic and super healthy and Jamaican inspired, of course. I had a jerk jackfruit with steamed veggies fresh salad and a rose cheesecake, which I forgot to capture on camera, guys, forgive me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's raining today and I, I still decided to go to the restaurant and have a breakfast because I am hungry a little bit. Um, I don't know why, usually at home, like in Dubai, I eat once a day or twice a day, but here somehow I, you know, my body is becoming better like I'm losing extra fat and stuff but <laughs> I'm hungry and I always you know I want to eat can you feel it the road is always shorter when you're heading home Freedom. I'm not afraid of changing. I'm ready for the cold. I'm ready for the cold. This time I cannot leave you behind. I need you to free your mind. Come with me, love. Our dreams are like stars. Come with me.